Hi, it is June 30th, and I thought I, <clears throat> I thought I would pop on and give you a little wrap up of our our Barora Newfoundland holiday. We had a terrific time, and I will um, talk about it a little bit, and then I will uh, interject um, some videos and some pictures, and then come back on and show you what um, what we picked up. We were only gone for five days, so we toured the Avalon Peninsula and we saw the whole coastline and it's pretty much the same. <laughs> very beautiful, very craggy and rocky, um, but yes, very, very, very nice. Now, the one thing that I will say is if you are planning a trip to Newfoundland and you have any kind of hair, make sure you take a headband, like a a headband like a big wide one because I took one and I am really glad I did because there were times that my hair was just everywhere and uh, yeah anyway okay so we left on the 19th of June and we got up bright and early we Headed our way, headed our our way to Montreal because we were flying out of Montreal. It was a direct more. It was a direct flight from Montreal to St. John's. There was no direct flight from Ottawa to St. John's. We would have had to have stopped in Halifax and had a like a three or four hour wait. We didn't really want to do that. So anyway, so we popped into Starbucks, got our coffees, and off we went. Driving, 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 and get an email from Air Canada. Your flight's delayed. Ah, what? <laughs> and then I get another email saying, oh, no, flight's fine. And then a little while later, oh, no, that airplane is not available, so we're going to have to delay your flight. So we drove anyway. We drove and drove and drove and drove and drove and drove. And we, get to, we get to Montreal, getting into Montreal, and I get an email saying, flight is on, but you're delayed an hour. So it wasn't that bad. It could have been so, so much worse. So much worse than that. Just looking down at some notes here that I've made. So we got on the flight and I mean, it was a typical flight. It was a two and a half hour flight. I knitted. <coughs> Ian read. We napped. Um, that's about it. I did have a lovely coughing fit and the flight attendant was very... Um, attentive and brought me some water which was very very welcome so we got there we got our car no problem with the car no problem with luggage we get in the car we get to the hotel we get booked in and then we decided we were going to go for a walk downtown so we had left uh ottawa and when it was i think it was like 32, 33 with the Humidex or something like that. So we had short sleeves, Ian wore shorts, I had capris on, and so we were we were dressed for 32. And we got to St. John's, and by the time we got downtown, it was 17. <laughs> so we didn't even think about that. <laughs> we didn't take a jacket or a sweater, and uh we were cold. So we took a little downtown tour down Water Street and we um, decided to um, have supper. So we had supper at Salt House Kitchen, which was very lovely. It was a nice little, nice little uh, pubby type restaurant. Of course, we had, I had fish and chips and Ian had some kind of seafood bowl and they were both great. The, our server, Crystal, was uh, uh, very um, interested in letting us know where we should go, what we should see. Uh, for some strange reason, she knew we weren't from there. I can't imagine how she knew that. <laughs> but uh, yes, and that was very nice. So we had supper, and we went back to her room, and we uh, went to bed and slept. Not too badly. Not too So the next day... We got up and we decided to go downtown and have a big, big walk. So we walked downtown. There's lots of steps, lots of hills, 
Everybody in St. John's must have like huge calves because boy, those steps and hills are steep. But we walked along and we went into some shops. We picked up a few things and then we decided we were going to, of course, we had to go to Signal Hill. So we went to Signal Hill. Holy cow, the wind on Signal Hill was crazy. The, um, the ladies in the uh, gift shop told us that they were clocking the winds at 73 kilometers an hour wind. And I, it, again, like I say about the headbands, uh, yeah. So it was it was hard to keep still. I had the, uh, my camera was moving all over the place. Um, I did get some shots and they were, they were pretty good actually. So, uh, but yeah, it was, it was nuts. It was nuts. So then we, we drove down to a place called, um, what is it called? Kitty Bitty. Q-U-I-D-I, V-I-D-I, -I. and we went to the pier, the, we um, walked around, we went to the brewery for lunch, it was okay, um, and uh, again, I had fish and chips, um, it was, it, it was really, really hot too, they were getting, um, they were getting their heat wave, so we walked around there, went into the, the little, um, uh, they have a, like a, um, artisans shop where different different artisans are in the same building and we were going in and out and so many talented people it's it's really hard to to you know to pick one or two things to to pick up but I managed to so we went back to the hotel we had a little rest and we decided that um, we were a little tired from all of our walking and so we decided to, there was a Moxie's in the hotel, so we went to Moxie's for supper. And that was very good. And we had nice drinks, Ian had some wine, and uh, yeah. And then we came back to our room and we watched a bit of the Argentina and Canada soccer game. <laughs> and then the next day, we went to the St. Mary's Ecological Reserve to Bird Rock. Uh, Ian wanted to go. So that was a long drive. That was about a two and a half hour drive. And, but uh, yeah, so he wanted to go there and it was really neat because there's this big rock and it's just full of gannets and all, all sorts of ocean birds and it stinks and it's loud, but, and again, it's windy, but uh, yeah, so he, he was there. He was in his glory for probably about half an hour or so he could have stayed longer I was okay I was sitting on a bench <laughs> watching it all I was taking pictures and stuff but uh yeah so he he uh he decided that he'd had enough so we decided to come back and we got ourselves on, on a dirt road it was full of potholes and but we didn't get lost this this was the road and uh, and stuff so yeah so we uh we stopped in a place ooh, what was it called? I forget the name of the place. Anyway, we stopped in the little restaurant. It was called Da Bird's Eye. Lovely ladies, again, and so friendly. And um, we walked in, and the uh, the the sign on the um, uh, entrance to the restaurant was Effin Friday, and it wasn't Effin. It was like you know. Excuse me. So, yeah, so we went in and we had fish and chips. And after we came out, they had changed it to Frisky Friday. And the lady said that um, somebody had said that they probably should change it. What was that? Come on. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, yeah, so we did that. And then we came back to our room and, um, it was around 5.30, and they hadn't made the room up yet. That was kind of disappointing. But we went in, and I just went out to the uh, the housekeeping person and just said, forget about doing the room, just give me some fresh towels. So, so anyway, so we had a little rest, and then we went to a uh, an amazing pizza place. Had absolutely awesome pizza. Piatto Pizzeria, it was called. Then on Saturday, um, if this is all getting too much for everybody, like I'm just doing this for my own little video, 
uh, journal. So if this is getting too much, I can, I'll put on there where the pictures all start. But this is just for me, all this chatter. So this Saturday, we, um, what did we do Saturday? Oh, hold on, it's right here. Um, Was that the day we went? Hold on. <laughs> right. That was the day we went downtown because there was a shop, a yarn shop called Windswept Fibers. And I, we couldn't find it when we were down there in, earlier. We couldn't find it anywhere. And Ian was looking it up on Google Maps and it was showing him where it was and couldn't find it. And so we looked it up the night before and it was in another shop. It was at the back of the artisan loft I think it was called so we decided we went in there oh I mean like I could have spent so much money and I did spend a lot of money on yarn but this was beautiful yarn and I'll show it to you later so anyway after that we drove to um Whitless Bay which was a, another lovely little village uh, a working fishing village they were bringing in snow crabs when we were there and we um, we ate at Chafe's uh, uh, restaurant. I, what did I have? I think I had a chicken burger because I was getting a little tired of fish. <laughs> and Ian had a moose burger. And he said that it tasted, uh, it tasted like beef, but it was a little bit more on the wild side of beef. So after that, we drove back and uh, got into the room, had showers, rested up, and then we decided we were going to um, just, we were in desperate need of vegetables. I wanted a salad so badly. So we decided to just eat at Moxie's and because it was nice and easy and Ian was tired from all the driving. And so we all, we both had I think Ian had a Caesar salad and a soup, a red pepper soup. And I had a Thai chicken salad. And they hit the spot. They were they were delicious. They were delicious. And Sunday, we drove to Dildo. And yes, look it up. It is called Dildo for that, that reason. And... Um, so yeah, so we drove to Dildo and uh, bah, 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 we stopped at the Village Vendors Market. That's what we did. And we bought a lovely needle felt um, piece of art. You know, I wish far fabric artists would realize just how talented they actually are and sign their name. This lady, uh, there's a sticker on the outside of her work and I'm going to peel it off hopefully I can peel it off enough that I can stick it to the front because this is beautiful stuff and stuff and I we that's where I picked up uh, lupin seeds now I don't know if they're gonna uh, if they're going to uh, sprout because I don't think that they were really ripe enough when I picked them off but um, I'll try them and it would be kind of neat if they did if they did uh, sprout and might have some lupins from Newfoundland I'm in my garden. Ooh, sorry. So yeah, so we uh, we went to a place called, uh, on the way back, we stopped at Perry's Cove, and Ian was looking at more so ocean birds, excuse me. And um, I, the night before was a horrible night for me. I don't know why. I was up all night coughing. There was something either in the room or outside I don't know what it was but it was really really bothering me and I didn't I hardly slept at all so we came back and I had a lovely nap um in the room and then we we went to uh the gypsy tea room for supper and it was okay the the food was absolutely spectacular the service was a little iffy it was not angry iffy, just just weird iffy. Um, they were out of it was a it was a small restaurant, so they didn't have much on the menu. 
but they were out of like seven things on the menu. I heard one lady ask her server, so what exactly do you have? And I think that was a, a running thing throughout the restaurant. But anyway, we, we got some nice, we got a nice meal, fabulous dessert. And um, so the, she brought, our, our server brought our meal and then we uh, didn't see her. And we finished our meal and we sat there for, it seemed like forever. Obviously it wasn't, but it was longer, longer than you feel you should. And then she finally showed up and asked us if we wanted anything else. So we ordered our dessert and that took not quite as long as the meal to come, but it came, you know, <laughs> anyway, it came and it was delicious. And then um, she came back and asked us if we want, oh, and Ian got a coffee and asked us if we wanted anything else. And we said, no, just the bill. And uh, then she disappeared. And we sat there, we sat there, we sat there. And she didn't come, she didn't come, she didn't come. So finally we got up and we went to the cash and we asked them to, for our bill. And they asked us where we were and they asked us who our server was. And they seemed very bewildered about who this girl was. <laughs> it was almost like, was she really there? Was was this like a figment of our imagination? So anyway, the, um, uh, the maitre d', he went off. He went downstairs. A few minutes later, he comes upstairs with our bill. And we paid the bill and off we went. But, like, it was just kind of weird. <laughs> like I say, not angry. We weren't angry about it. It was just like, hmm, what? <laughs> it uh, it was just odd. Anyway, we, uh, we went back to, we wandered around a little bit and then went back to our. So we're down to Monday, our last day and it rained which we were okay with we had taken our raincoats and i did take umbrella but you couldn't use an umbrella it was way too windy um so we had plans we were going to go to the it was it was a rainy day like i say we were going to go to uh, the local museum and then we were going to go to a vintage or a historic um winery and have a, have a tour of there and we get to the uh, museum the rooms and the security guard is standing outside <laughs> and there was us there were there were us and two other couples and we walk up and he says oh we're not open till noon it's newfoundland day <laughs> so i was like okay so now we have to figure out something else to do so we decided to drive to portugal cove and the rain kind of eased up. It was still raining quite a bit. Um, Ian, we stopped at, at some little places. Ian did some birding. And we got to Portugal Cove and we made some lunch. And we were hoping something was open. And there was. It was called The Landings. And it was a lovely, basic uh, restaurant. She, the, the server, she was fabulous. Um, and uh, she told us her name. Now I can't remember. Anyway, um, I had fish and chips. And I'm telling you, they were the best fish and chips of the trip. Hands down. Hands down. So Ian wanted to, after that, Ian decided he wanted to, we wanted to um, uh, go for a little walk in, in a park, Bowery Park. And the rain had subsided enough. It was it was spitting. It wasn't it wasn't terrible that we uh, we wandered around. He wanted to see a boreal chickadee. Now he has seen a boreal chickadee, but he wanted it. He wanted a boreal chickadee to add to his Newfoundland list. So he played the boreal chickadee sound, and we were walking around and walking around and walking around. I said, "Wait a minute, what's that? What did I hear over there?" And he said, what? And I said, let's go down this path. We go down the path, and they just started flying, as chickadees do. They just started flying in, and I suspect people probably feed them. Uh, they start flying in and out and out. And he didn't even need his binoculars. He could tell that it was a boreal chickadee, just because it was just like right there, you know, like right in the tree branch. <laughs> so anyway, so he was happy he got that. I think he got uh, 30. 
32 or 33 species. And as he keeps telling me, I'm, I'm okay with that because it wasn't a birding trip. <laughs> gotta love them. Gotta love them. So we went back to the hotel and uh, got readied up and we went back to this pizza place for for um, supper because it was it was pretty awesome. And then we came back to the room and watched the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. We had we we really did have hopes there and they played really, really well. But, you know, when it was all said and done, I think Florida was the better team. Anyway, I will um, insert the video. This is going to be a really long one. I'm really sorry. So um, maybe I'll do a separate one for my, for my um, Newfoundland haul. Anyway, I'll insert the, um, the Newfoundland stuff here and um, catch you on the flip side. Here we go, just arrived in St. John's, Newfoundland. There's our license. We've got a Ford Escape. Ian's posting. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here. <laughs> yeah. So it is Friday, June 21st. <laughs> uh, we are off to St. Mary's Ecological Reserve to see some shorebirds. No? Ocean birds. Ocean birds. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a trip today, but we're happy to sit in the car and not have to walk too far today. Because we did a lot of walking yesterday, didn't we, Ian? We did. For some strange reason, Ian uh, walked 10,000 and... 300. And I only walked 10,038 steps. I don't know, but we, I was, I, I'm not sure how that happens. But anyway, I, not, as met, not as much walking today. Right, Ian? Uh, no, not near <laughs> as much. Okay, bye. Bye. Not expected. We're on uh, Trans-Canada Highway. And if anybody knows of the uh, Canadian music group, The Arrogant Worms, they have a song called, what's it called <laughs> I forget now. It's called uh, Rocks and Trees and Water. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> you could basically say that yes, that is Canada. And we are experiencing, oh, there's water over there. Yeah. But we are right now experiencing rocks and trees. Um, we have probably a two hour drive. Yeah. So there we go, <laughs> off for the day. Saturday, June 22nd, breakfast this morning, Starbucks, soy latte, leftover pizza, and look, Ian's eating leftover pizza for breakfast too! <laughs> Pictures and videos okay, good away. morning. It is Sunday, June 23rd. Happy anniversary to Paula and Dave, my sister and my brother-in-law. So today, Ian, yes. we are off to... Dildo! Now, can anybody explain to us why it's called Dildo? I, I'm thinking that it's probably not the Dildo that we're thinking of. But we're going to look it up. We have stopped in... 
Harry's Cove. Ian wants to look to see if he can find a, some ocean birds. And it is extremely windy. We, I think we are, uh, well, we're down in a cove. <laughs> it certainly is a good day for drying clothes. I don't know if you can hear the, the wind whistling around the car. And the swings don't even need anybody to push anybody on them today. Okay, so our plans have been thwarted. We didn't realize that it was um, Newfoundland Day. Right. So everything's closed. I or, just sorry. Yes. I just saw an RC church. An RC, RC church? Yeah. RC. What? <laughs> uh, lots of Anglican churches here. Yeah. Anyway, so we have uh, made our way to Portugal Cove, and we are hoping that something is open for lunch. We saw a restaurant, but I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Um, I have to pee, and. Um, Anyway, and it's raining, so, but it's our last day, and it should rain on our last day. That's right. <laughs> okay, we found a place in Portugal Cove. Landings, so far, the best fish and chips. <laughs> there we are! We made it! <laughs> Bonjour, everybody! <laughs> Really, my French isn't that bad, but anyway. <laughs> we are in the parking lot of the Montreal airport. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> here we are, we're home, almost home. Two hours to home. Ian is gonna put the directions into Betty. That's right. And we'll see if she can get, get us, us home. She can get us home. But it's kind of nice to, the heat is very different here. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the end of the Newfoundland post. I hope you've enjoyed whatever you've decided to watch. And it is uh, Canada Day today here. <laughs> and I will post that, excuse me, at a later date. So that's the end of this one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.